Here. We'll take you back out here live to the tops on Jefferson Avenue. Joining me now live is our senior reporter Eileen Buckley. She was here, the city of Buffalo, holding a really emotional ceremony, Eileen, bringing all the people out to commemorate this day. And you can feel that when you're standing out there. Oh, absolutely. No question about it. It was incredible to see such a tremendous turnout here today, to remember such a sad day. But I think everyone wanted everyone to know that this community will not tolerate hatred and racism. The solemn and moving moment as the bell rang out across Topps parking lot along Jefferson Avenue exactly at 2.28 p.m. The same time gunshots rang out one year ago, killing 10 members of Buffalo's community and injuring three. It was 365 days ago when a white supremacist drove two hours to our great city with the expressed intent of killing as many black people as possible. Zaire Goodman was working at the store that day and was injured in the attack. He tells me he remembers that day starting out as very normal until the shooting happened. I wasn't surprised in the slightest to be honest. And I felt like, not that it would happen, but events like this are likely and will always happen. The shooting shattered the lives of 10 family members who lost loved ones and traumatized many in our community. It's very emotional right now for me to be here. So it's, it's hard, but I needed, I feel like I needed to be here. Elmina Harbor has been a lifelong Buffalo resident. She didn't know any of the victims, but feels like they are still family. She says she still cannot go into the top store. Will you ever be able to walk in that store? No, no, I, I would not be able to. I, I attempt to, um, I drove in the parking lot and I drove right out. I couldn't do it. I had to pull to the side and it was just too much. But Sunday's gathering was another chance to help the community heal with support, love and faith. God, we ask you to put our broken pieces back together again. Knit us together in unity for this community. Bind us together in love like the roots of a tree. Oh. Incredible, too, across the street, some very powerful messages etched with chalk on the sidewalk outside of Tops, including, you took our mother, racism shot these bullets, and my heart is broken, just so sad. But Taylor, at the end of the commemoration then, when we were all out in the parking lot, a beautiful thing happened in the sky over the sunshine. There was a ring, a rainbow ring around the sun, looking like a halo. So it just brought out kind of the best in everyone as they were just looking up and seeing such a, a beautiful experience. It's the kind of things that gives you chills, Eileen. Thank you so much.